lesson 4 algorithms and flow charts almost every day you carry out activities such as doing homework you get from school packing your school bag brushing your teeth and so on all these activities involve a series of steps arranged in a sequential order to get the desired output let's look at steps you would take to brush your teeth steps you should take to brush your teeth are step 1 take your brush from the shelf step 2 turn on the tap of the wash basin then rinse the brush and turn off the tap next apply toothpaste on the brush step 5 start brushing your teeth step 6 clean the brush and rinse your mouth then take the tongue cleaner and clean your tongue once again rinse your mouth and finally you get the desired result that is shiny white teeth and clean mouth if the steps are not in the correct sequence you will not get the desired output take a look at it If you start brushing your teeth before you apply toothpaste on the brush you will never get the desired output Similarly you give instructions to a computer to perform a special task or a specific task The set of instructions written in a stepwise sequence is called a program or computer programming. If a programmer forgets to write some instructions or writes the instructions in a wrong sequence or does not know how to perform the process manually, then a computer will produce wrong result. Okay? In order to ensure that the program instructions are appropriate which means correct for the problem and are written in the correct sequence the program must be planned logically before it is written like this To solve any problem on a computer first we need to analyze and understand the nature of the problem We then plan the input and apply the required methods step by step to get the desired result. This step by step procedure to solve any logical or mathematical problem is called an algorithm. When I say logical, take a look at this. This is the logical arrangement and this is a mathematical problem which has steps written in a particular sequence which allows us to get to the desired output rules for writing an algorithm rule number 1 an algorithm should be written in english like language rule 2 it should be written in a simple and precise manner so that everyone can understand it like this Rule number 3 Each step should be written in a sequential manner means in an ordered manner which means step 1 should be written first followed by step 2 then step 3 and so on till you get to the result Rule 4 Each instruction should be executed means followed within a reasonable time frame examples of algorithm 
you got them to pack your school bag step 1 open the bag step 2 take out your school diary step 3 see the timetable step 4 go to your bookshelf step 5 take out the books and notebooks step 6 keep them in the bag and finally step 7 close the bag that was example number 1 algorithm to calculate the sum and average of three numbers let's begin step 1 input the first number say a step 2 input the second number say b step 3 input the third number say c step 4 find the sum of the three numbers a plus b plus c step 5 find the average a plus b plus c the whole divided by 3 and step 6 print the average that was example number 2 algorithm to make a grilled sandwich let's begin step 1 take two bread slices and chopped vegetables step 2 spread butter on the bread slices step 3 keep the chopped vegetables between the slices step 4 grease the toaster with oil step 5 place the bread sandwich in the toaster step 6 switch on the toaster and grill the sandwich and finally step 7 when the sandwich is ready serve it hot algorithm to compare two numbers and find the greater Step 1 input two numbers and store them in A and B Step 2 check whether A is equal to B If true then go to step 3 that is print both numbers are equal and stop Else go to step 4 compare A and B If A is greater than B go to step 5 that's print A is greater and stop. Else, step six. Print B is greater and stop. For better understanding, let's look at the pictorial representation of these steps. Please look at the flow chart. Let's begin. Input two numbers and store them in A and B. Step 2 check whether a is equal to b or not If true print both numbers are equal and stop Else compare a and b If a is greater than b then print a is greater and stop else print b is greater and stop characteristics of an algorithm a good algorithm should possess the following features input an algorithm accepts an input generality An algorithm works on a set of inputs. Definiteness, which means each instruction should be written in a simple and precise manner so that everyone can understand it. Uniqueness, each step in an algorithm should be unique and an output should depend on the previous step. Finiteness, it should involve finite number of steps to reach a solution. And finally, output After the instructions are executed the user must get the desired output